Betty to Cole Duker, you uh, have been associated with Meet the Press since 1957? 56. 50, oh, I'm sorry I missed it by a <laughs> year. A few months. What have you been doing with this show for that long? Well, I started as associate producer, and since 76, I've been producer. Is it true that Meet the Press is the oldest running television show? It certainly is. Uh, worldwide, it's in the Guinness Book of Records. It began as a television program in 1947. It had been on the air for two years as a radio program before that. What is the role, to ask you the same question, as Bob Clark, what's the role of these Sunday shows in your opinion? Well, I think they still play a, a very prominent role in uh, national life. Um, there are a number of people who agree with Bob that we interviewed the same people too much, but I think that goes back to the original purpose, at least so far as Meet the Press is concerned, the purpose of the program. Now, there may be too many programs doing the same thing, but the original idea was to put people in the top positions, in the spotlight, to focus on them continually with unedited, uncensored uh, interviews, and to uh, let the American people judge for themselves how their leaders and decision makers were doing, which is the reason we do repeat a lot of people through the years. What's the toughest thing about trying to get guests? Well, the timing, I suppose, because the time you want them is the time they may be the busiest or the most in trouble. And that, of course, is the peak interest uh, on the part of the audience. So they, most people are willing to do it, but they might like to wait a, a week or two longer than you would. Is there an all-time favorite show for you, one that you'll remember more than any other? I don't think I could say that. The, the ones that have been the most exciting personally, for the most part, have been the overseas programs, the remote ones, and for the most part, I would say ones with very controversial leaders or, or uh, figures in public life, people like Fidel Castro. Uh, 